Jenny, so got a plan? Damn right, I do. Come over to mine tonight. Gonna lay the groundwork with Tom and Roxy. They're with us. Michael will be here too. How'd you manage that? Got something really big. Tell you everything tonight. Last thing, what do you like on your pizza? Locust pepperoni. And lots of extra cheese. Atta girl. So, I'll see you come evening. Of course I'll be there. Hey V, come on in. Pizza's getting cold. You made it, good. Grab a seat. This is Roxanne. She's worked at Clouds longer than any of us. Hello. Hey, nice to meet you. When I heard what you pulled at Clouds, shit, I so regretted I was off that day. Just eat the free pizza and then we're out of here, okay? Were you and Evelyn close? Yeah. Blew up in her face when she showed up back at Clouds. She was supposed to be long gone, the one who got away. But deep in my heart, I was glad to see her back. She likes such a gunk now. How are you? Okay, I guess, but, you know, sad as hell. You'll never get rid of the stench of the corpse. You drop a lot of them, don't you? What's your secret? So, what's this plan all about? I'd like to hear the answer to that, too. I modified the behavioral chip. It can equip any doll with a motor reflex system. In other words, make the doll move and fight like a preem tier solo. Fascinating, isn't it? What one can learn while tuning fake orgasms for the moxes. Mind stepping outside? Can't smoke in here. You'll air it out later. <laughs> Fine, I'll sit by the window. The body will react as if executing a well-trained series of movements. Already tested it out on Tom. Chip's impulses supplant any natural reflexes, so it'll make users feel like they're experiencing cyberpsychosis. But it's basically the same as when we activate ourselves for a client. I promise to do everything in my Tech that's all pros and no cons. I don't buy it. Side effects, spill them. Combat mode auto-initiates when a threat is present, and uh, there's no way to stop it. Can't find a workaround. And that's it? I don't know. Only way to determine that would be through months of testing on a range of subjects. There's an ethical side, too. You can murder someone and not remember a thing. Solo skills don't lie in just executing movements. There are split-second processes that happen. Logistics, decision-making, result of years of practice. Doubt your chip's capable of compensating for that. You're probably right. But I don't see another way. Alternatives intensive training, but we don't have time for that. How did you ever come up with this? Learned how the behavioral chip works at Clouds. Always seemed like they must be pretty easy to modify. I'm surprised I didn't get the idea the moment we walked into Maiko's office. 
count yourself lucky, what with all the cams and mics and clouds. Tiger Claws would sooner dig those chips out of the dolls with screwdrivers than let an idea like this run its course. All right. Gotta see it to believe it. Finally, someone said it. Tom? Pulled that sequence from a Kung Fu training virtue. Gotta admit, not bad. Yeah, for the market square in Kabuki. Uh, before we start talking serious biz, gonna need to see serious action. You just saw him. I saw a bar trick. I want to see a fight. Got an expert in causing bodily harm among us. I want to see how Tommy handles her. V? Don't mess up my digs, okay? I like it here. It's on now! What the? You there? Can you hear me? <laughs> Look at me go! You see that? Woo! Gotta do some Please? cardio! Happy now? I'm really happy, but that was proof enough. Let's get to it then. You've got an elite force of three muscle heads and a techie. What now? Guards and tiger claws in and around will overpower. Take down, disarm, escort them out, clouds will be ours. Bosses, we'll give an ultimatum. A cut of the proceeds, in exchange for never showing their faces at the club again. And having no say in how the club's managed. That's what I thought. A half-baked, insane plan. You can't see more than an inch ahead of you. Taking out the security there won't solve anything. Claws will just send more. Hiromi Sato's the man you gotta get to. Hiromi Sato? Who's that? Cloud's real boss. He rarely shows, but you can't so much as sneeze without him finding out. Claws trust him, respect his opinion. He is one of them. We can try to convince him, but it's doubtful. We stand a better chance by injecting him with a dose of fear. Where do we find this Hiromi? At his apartment, H8 Mega Tower, topmost floor. It's a penthouse, almost never steps outside its glass walls. But I'll figure out a way to get us inside. Tom and Roxanne gonna come with? No. Whole points to strike both places at the same time. They'll take care of business at Clouds. Two-pronged assault. Loving it. <laughs> Plan just might work. Michael, take it you're on board too? Wouldn't be wasting my time here if I wasn't. So how about it, V, Tom, Roxy? Made up your minds? I... I need to think about it. Never wasted anyone before, you know. I'm with it all the way. V? Don't tell me you're seriously considering this. Sticking our precious necks out for a bunch of whores? Count me in, Judy. Already said I'd help, didn't I? Thanks, V. Save the gratitude for later, please. <coughs> I'll set up Shit. to meet with Hiromi and let you know. I need a couple days. Have fun. Toodaloo. Michael, hold up. Give us a lift. Only if you don't talk to me. I feel a migraine coming on. Oh, shit. I'm scared, V. Speaking of gratitude, stuff I'm asking you to do, well, usually comes with a price tag, I know. You want to help, I get that. But I'm more than happy to pay your fee in full. Feels like it's only right. Judy, for real? No, don't want to hear it. But ah uh, ah uh, ah, uh. not a word. Ah <laughs> uh, uh, uh. V, everything okay? V, you don't look so hot. 
What the hell, V? You, like, sick? Remember the heist Evelyn hired us for? The relic I was gonna club? <sighs> Couldn't forget that in a million years. That biochip? Well, long story short, it had Johnny Silverhand's mind on it. An engram of it that's overriding my mind. You being serious? Truly wish I wasn't. Fuck. Anything at all you can do? One can hope. It's late. You're tired. You can crash on my couch if you want. Sounds great. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Make yourself at home. to the bottom of Ebonica. Flicked pings to some contacts. Grayson buzzed familiar for a friend from the olden days. He did some digging. Found something. A section of the docks that's maelstrom turf. And enjoy the sun. So why are these docks called Ebonica? Pretty sure it's got nothing to do with some long dead man. Dead wrong, actually. It's not the docks. It's an old container ship named after the guy. So you found Grayson. You really got an in with Smasher? Come see me. Afterlife. We'll talk. Okay. Look who we have. Hey, Flair, right? Well, have something completely to go. Mind the details of V? Crispin Wayland, no he's helping me. Hold up in that bunker. Hey, V. I hear you yeah, old to smash up. Ready? Yeah. We'll talk on the way. Whoa, watch out. I just asked you. Let's go. Let's go. Now look, send drones up first. Good luck, Maybe. Don't know. Don't wait up. How did Wayland help you exactly? He made sure we'll find Grayson at home when we start home. So we know where to look for him. a little something. Try it out. This Johnny's jacket? Ooh, with me wearing it, sure you won't confuse us? Quite sure. Thanks. A replica. Made to order. Real jacket must have disintegrated into dust years ago. Thanks. Jump in. 
Finally looking half decent. What Johnny say about me? No, you two talk all the time. Johnny talks about himself, mostly. Hmm, right. Sure you're up for this. What? You getting cold feet? No. Just... don't want to see Johnny haze you. Adam Smasher's his obsession, not yours. <laughs> Think so? Just trying to play fair. Little weird you didn't run into Smasher before now. Came up in conversation, time to time. But, uh, never tried to track him down. Listen, V. The fact that Johnny's back changes things, okay? Okay, sure. Believe me, I'd know. We'll get back to that, I guess. Okay, here's as far as we go. Might be our lucky day. Drop Grayson and Smasher in one go. Fucker's gotta be around here somewhere. Okay, we can start. Too many rats around. Better wait till a little darkness creeps in. And in the meantime, we do what? Wait and watch. Okay, good as it's gonna get. Maelstrom's got the docks covered, and you'll cover me. Come on, let's go. She's tense. Got an idea. Cover her what is just in then case. Me. Can you open it? Yeah. I'm super low perf right now. I can't... Okay. Watch it now. See them all? Gotta get to the data term. Quietly. Scan it, see if there's anything we can use. I'll watch the door. Now, knows exactly where to find him. She's stalling. 
told you, Rogue's still no. scared of the asshole. No, I didn't get a chance to... The fuck you want? Yeah, that's it's what like I they're thought. hiding out on the ship. Okay, let's see what we turn up. Over there, to the right. There she is. The Ebonike. <laughs> Not looking so hot. Even shittier on the inside. Let's go. Kinda hard to believe you. Gotta search the deck. Okay. Why are you even doing this? I'm settling a score. Avenging Johnny. That too. Execution, looks like to me. Shot point blank, hollow point ammo. He's got a signature style, Smasher. that Grayson yeah no not that fucker shooting at me okay. with my own gun guns are blazing Valorian 3516 signature sound I know it anywhere you're not getting out alive come here you grab the gun not yours I don't think. Grayson. Oh my, Rogue. Uh, you and me not playing for the same team anymore? Mm, guess I'm not at all surprised. Seems your specialty. Slipping shivs in the backs of allies. Uh. Where's Smasher? I'd start talking if I were you. Wound looks pizza wreck awful. And I don't see no one around who could help. But I'm happy to talk. Ever wonder how Rogue survived after the attack on the tower? How in hell no one ever hunted her down? Her alone. <clears throat> Out of all that Atlantis trash. Cause I do. I truly wonder how far she had to go to set herself up so comfy. Who'd she finger fuck? Whose crack did she have to lick to- Ugh! What's he going on about? He's trying to throw you off. Gong thinks he can still squirm out of this. Where's Smasher now? <clears throat> With the Arasakas. But I think you know that already. When's he due back? Never. If old Adam's just been named head of security there. <clears throat> Not coming back to this rat hole ever. I stayed behind just to tie off his loose ends. Shit! Could say that again. You two will never jump that high. Smasher's out of your reach. But don't feel bad. He'll find you himself. Likes to resolve shit like this in person. Gonna lead us to Smasher, assface. Even if I wanted to, he don't trust me enough to... Hey, why are you so interested in Smasher anyway? I'm not interested in Silverhand. And what happened to him? <laughs> Johnny Silverhand? <laughs> what do you want to know? Silverhand's iron. You had it. What? You a fan too? Smasher give it to you? Uh-huh. Reward for a special job well done. Smasher ever tell you what he did with Silverhand's body? That into him, huh? Plan to exhume that scup? Or you just want to hear how he died, soaked in his own piss? 
neuron scorched by Soul Killer. What did they do with him? Badlands, near the oil fields. Buried out there. <coughs> 101 northbound. Then head for the landfill. Dig deep enough. Might even find a shit smear. Heard him enough. Finish him. Let's end this quickly. Wanna rip my eyes out just looking at him. No, no, wait. I got something. Silverhand. You're into him, right? Could give you something. He deserve extinction? Do I end him? Yes. Meaning... Do what you think is right. Smasher's got something that was Johnny's. Could be yours. Just gotta let me live. How'd Smasher wind up with Johnny's stuff? Told me Saburo Arasaka ordered him to get rid of the body. Any and all sundries sold most of it, except the Malorian and what I got. You got lucky today. Turning soft on me, V. What I promised in the container on that Goliath over there. What's inside? You'll see. Got the access card right here. Take it. For fuck's sake. Pointless. This whole thing. Still no leads, nowhere to go from here. Fuck. V, tell her. Well, we learned something. Mm-hmm. That they tossed Johnny's body like so much trash. Smasher, fuck! You don't get it. This isn't about Smasher. He's just the goddamn tip of the iceberg. Even if we get him, what does that get us? No reason to stay. I'm out. Not at all curious? Later, V. Leave her alone, V. She'll get it together. But times like this, she prefers to be alone. Okay. I get that. Gotta get that container down somehow. If there's something of mine in there, I want it back. Okay. Looking for the control panel. I think I know what it is. Let's see what we got here. Take that rag off it. Okay. My ride. Hop in. I'll even let you drive. Hers like a dream. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's go see where they fucking planted my ass.
Never realized the thing between you and Rogue was that serious. Ah, oh, damn right it was serious. When we met up, someone always died. How so very romantic. Definitely your style. There was always something going on. She had a gig, I had a gig. Music, that is. Was never run of the mill. Although did try to take her to see a flick once. And... And nothing came of it, as usual. here somewhere. Can't believe they bothered to truck it all the way out here. Eh, better than the junkyard where I landed. So that's how it is. Nothing here at all. symbolic empty gestures guess I do thought I'd feel like I'd closed a chapter here like I'd said goodbye to the old silver hand hello to the new and how do you feel like I never even was or like I was still inside Mikoshi we'll figure something out it was my real grave what would you write here lies Johnny Silverhand the guy who saved my life V you don't know how much I want that to be true Listen, I realize I fucked up a lot of things. Either let down or used every last person who gave me their trust. Blind, selfish bastard that I was. But I've managed one thing for now. Not to fuck this up. What we have. Been a long, bumpy road, but we made it. Most people I thought were my friends. They couldn't even stand to be in the same room with me. You're fucking closest to me by a long shot. There, 24-7. And yet, you don't seem to hate my living guts. You were a real dickwipe at first. You sort of deserved it. Remember waking up at Victor's not knowing about me? I'm seeing things. I'm scared. Then moaning at Misty's about how you didn't want to die. Remember you whining for smokes in the middle of the night, complaining about not being able to kill me. Never thought we'd make it this far. Still feel like you can't breathe in here? Nah, not saying it's great. But it's different. 
Sometimes when I wake up, it feels like I'm back for a while. What do you mean, back? Well, like I got this body to myself, like I'm free. Seconds later, it feels like I'm missing something, something really important. Then I realize you're there, always were. And this stupid wave of relief washes me. When you said you let your friends down, did you mean Rogue? Rogue, Alt, Carrie, Santiago. Not all's lost yet. At least with Rogue. Can't pretend nothing's changed over 50 years. Can't just insert myself into her life. Smasher Biz really got to her. Can't leave it like this, I don't think. Might be right. She was acting weird. You ought to talk to her. You know, did promise her I'd take her to the movies long, long ago. Good idea. Call her for me. Ask if she's free some night. Thing is, you'd have to surrender control. Again. Yeah. I'll call her. Okay. That's Delta. Nothing to see here after all. Worth coming out all the same? Absolutely. Thanks, V. Of all the heads I could have popped up in, hella glad it was yours. <laughs>